Welcome back to the second video in the setup demonstration for the EasyLife GCU triple function meter. In this video we're going to show you how to insert the batteries when you first get the meter and set the time and date so you're ready to run your first tests. We're also going to show you how to use the test meter just to confirm that the setup of the meter has been correct. Now when you first get the meter it comes without the batteries inserted and to insert the batteries you open this port on the rear of the uh, unit. It comes away quite nicely. Just before we put the batteries in I'm going to show you this little switch down here because it's quite key in terms of what readings you're going to get the meter to display. This meter has the ability to be switched between milligrams per deciliter and the more familiar UK units millimoles per litre. In the left hand setting which most meters come as default the unit will display in milligrams per deciliter. So for UK use we recommend with a finger or pen you just switch the meter over into the right hand position and then the meter will display all its readings in millimoles per litre. So now we're ready to insert the batteries and start the date and time setup. To insert the batteries take the two AAA batteries that are supplied with the meter and follow the instructions for direction as shown in the base of the battery compartment. So the first one goes in that way and the second one this way. Now just before I put this second battery in I want you to be aware that you've got only a five second time portal to switch the meter over and start setting the time and date. So be prepared to do that and read the instructions about which buttons you're going to have to press to do so. You want to use the S button to select the actual meter reading or date meeting or year reading and then to move on to the next following setting you use the M button. So let's do that now. Hear it click? There we go. Now it defaults to 2013 so you want to start pressing the S quite quickly to get it to give you the year 2020 and then press the M button. It then goes to the month and in this case we're going to set it as July and I'm going to set the date as the 24th. There we go. Press again and we go through to the hour. It's a 12 hour clock. This is AM. So I'm going to set it to 10 or 11. Sixteen. Okay, so we've set the date and time as the year 2020, the month July the 24th and the time 16 minutes past 11 a.m. in the morning. And then all you need to do is just wait for it to time out. Now if you overrun any of those settings or miscalculate them, you can reset the time and date at any time just by removing the batteries. And when the batteries are exhausted or you lose all power, then you will need to reset this each time. The value in you setting the time and date is that when the memories of previous readings start building up in this unit, you will have reference back to the time and date when those readings were taken. So when you've done that successfully, put the battery compartment back in and insert the yellow test code chip that's supplied with the meter. And what we should see, if we get this in correctly, is the OK symbol coming up. There is a correct uh, rotation on that. Did you see that? One way it didn't work. Putting it in the correct way gets the OK. If I reverse that and put it in the wrong way, just let that time out, it doesn't trigger anything. So be aware of that. But once you've got that OK, that is an indicator that this meter function is checking out and all the electronics on board are good. So you're now ready to start testing with this meter. And in the next video, we'll run you through performing a test.